What is up YouTube? Bev Food Review Dudes here and today we are reviewing Depot Diner. Let's get into it. My name's Chandler. Today I got a bacon and cheese omelet. It's very good, very good. I got it with white toast and home fries. It's amazing. I would give it maybe 7.6. It was, it was pretty good, but I'm looking for better restaurants out there with better omelets, but it was still pretty good, I have to say. I don't know. Hey guys, I'm Mike Broniger. So today I got the Western omelet with home fries and white toast. So for me, I found that they give you very, a very large omelet, big quantity, a lot of home fries. I thought overall it was very good, very filling. I thought the, the texture was good, but I felt the flavor department may have been lacking a little bit. Um, they gave you a lot of ham and a lot of vegetables in the omelet, but I felt there was something missing that could have been that could have been there. Maybe it was salt or seasoning. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, with the home fries and the toast, I would say a 6.5 out of 10. Hello everyone, I'm Kenny. So today I got the uh, home fries and bacon, two sides, you know. The bacon I thought was pretty good. It was nice and crispy, had a little grease on it, kind of how bacon should be. It was pretty good. Uh, the home fries, you know, they were all right. They were tasty with some ketchup, you know, as usual. But I uh, felt they could have been a little bit more crispier for my liking. I usually like my home fries a little bit crispier. So my meal, you know, I'd probably give it 8 out of 10. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alex. Today I got the chocolate chip pancakes short stack. So it came with two chocolate chip pancakes, some powdered sugar, and an orange slice. Don't sleep on the orange slice. The orange slice is there as a palate cleanser. It really emphasized the chocolate chips in the pancake. You know, when you first get it, you gotta flip it around to see what you're really dealing with because they're kinda, it's like secret chocolate chips almost. They're hidden under, so. The pancakes were a little chewy, nothing to cry about though. The knife, I gotta say, the knife was not a good knife. Um, it didn't cut very well, but the mouthfeel of the chewiness and the like meltiness of the pancake really made up for it. I'm gonna go with the solid 7.2 out of 10, just cause it wasn't quite there, but it was pretty good. All right, I'm Brendan and uh... I got a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. I really liked this sandwich because it was filling. It was just what I needed this morning for breakfast, you know? Because they put two eggs in that sandwich. This is one of those sandwiches you need to sit down. You're like, I really need a sandwich right now. And they're going to serve it up to you. So they got sausage links, you know, just one link cut in half. Pretty, pretty basic deal going on there. But the flavor of the sandwich really impressed me. Coffee is high quality and I got a side of home fries and uh, I like the home fries there the home fries they do a good job so I think I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 it's a good move everyone my name is Aaron Carroll and today I got the Western omelet um, I thought that the Western omelet was a little bit overcooked uh, I thought the the potatoes were pretty good and Overall, I would have to give it a 7.5 out of 10 just because of how overcooked the eggs were. I thought it could have a little bit more flavor. Hey there, I'm Will. Today I went to the Depot Diner and I had the apple cinnamon pancakes. These are some pretty good pancakes, let me tell you. They, they're syrup, spot on. They could put some nice powdered sugar on. I, can't, I think everything's already been covered about the orange by my friend Alex over here. But that orange is amazing. Off the charts. Off the charts. Next level. And uh, yeah, overall, you know, I gotta give it a, I'll give it a solid seven. I personally was a big fan of the atmosphere as well. It's something where you just go in, you get sat down immediately, and it's just the service is quick. They're all friendly. It's like a well in place. Very. The walls are colorful. They just, it just adds to the atmosphere, I yeah. guess. When you go in, you feel like you're in a family atmosphere. It's something good for all people who want to go there. It's just something that you can eat and feel comfortable while eating. Well, I believe you had some windows. Yes, the front facade is entirely made out of windows. So it's very, there's a ton of natural lighting. It makes the food look even better than it already is. 
So I recommend it. I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Will point, Will's point there. Uh, the windows do add a lot to the restaurant. It makes it feel a lot bigger than it is, and the light fills the restaurant completely, so it's not like you're sitting in the dark. And to be honest, this is probably the highest end diner you can go to in Beverly, or really the surrounding area. It's a really nice experience. They nailed the atmosphere. The food's good, so. So that brings a conclusion to Depot Diner. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and always stay hungry, my friends. Yeah.